हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई मूम एंड दिस इज ओम आर्ची वेल ओम प्लस आर्च इक्व टू ओम आर्ची वेल जो दाइड आई मस से दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बेस्ट आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स हाई प्लान एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन एवर गेट ऑन आर्च हा बट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दिस थिंग रनिंग आई हैड टू स्पेंड आर्स एंड आर्स ऑफ टाइम फर्स्ट आई हैड टू क्रिएट अ बोडीबल यू एस पी ऑफ Arch Linux, then boot into Arch Linux, then install the base version of Arch Linux, the minimal profile. Then came the real Omarch installation, and for that you just had to type one command, and everything will be done automatically. And that's it. Like really, the most easiest high plan installation ever. Just typing one command, and you have to do nothing, literally nothing. And I got this. This is literally amazing. So this is Omarchi, and right now, as you can see, I have my laptop settings with my CPU and NVIDIA drivers. Everything is just awesome. And let me just show you something else, shall I? So with Windows Space, you can get this application menu of a sort where you can choose the applications. And one of the best parts I like about it is that you get all the important things out of the box. Like this is a developer's haven, and as you can see, I'm right now using OBS. But leaving that. Let me just go through the whole Hyperland desktop first. So as you can see, all the things are you know optimized with the desktop's theme. For example, this Wi-Fi menu and this Wi-Fi menu actually looks damn good. Like man, right now I'm connected to my own, but leaving that, we have Bluetooth menu as well. Okay, then we have well maybe this is B top. Yep, this is. So on the upside we have our CPU. Then here's the GPU. Then the CPU stuff. Everything is just so damn beautiful, like man, and it looks so cool to use it. And yeah, one more thing, as you can see, the theme which you can see right now, like this, you can change it with Control or uh, wait, Windows Alt Space. You get this Omarchi menu where your applications, learning stuff, capture, which means screenshots, toggling, night mode and dark mode, styles. Here you can choose your font, background, and theme. For example, right now I'm on Osaka Cheat. Default, you get this capit caption or something like that, but this looks damn good. Like all the things are optimized for this for obvious reasons, but I like that particular one. Let me just show you some other stuff as well. For example, we have the latte version as well. I don't like it. Like I like the top thing. Well, we have Arrow Forest, then Group Box, and yeah, we have Nord as well. If you don't like the clean tint, the style, theme, there we go. Nord. But I like Osaka Cheat because this is literally one of the best, and it suits Omarchi. And yeah, this button is the Omarchi menu, man. And yeah, you can do a lot of stuff here. For example, when you go to Step Tier, you can change configuration files for all of it. And yeah, you can also set up fingerprints as well. As you can see in Omarchi, you get FD, PrintD, and UBS utils. But sadly, I don't have the fingerprint reader. But leaving that. Let's just take a look at some profiles like the monitor. I want to write it, so I'm going to type Control E, and there we go. This is our well configuration file, and as you can see, the environment. This is right now at two, which means the scaling is two times. That is why my cursor and everything is large, and it actually is perfect to be honest. Like for people who have larger displays or larger resolution displays. It's perfect, and this is also perfect for creating videos because you guys can clearly see the text and everything. Yeah, but for 1080p or 1440, you should go on with these. So let me just do that, and I'm gonna enable this one. Yep, but leaving that, let's close it. We have so much more. Like we have ChatGPT, Chromium, Docker, Google Files, Google Photos, even Kaden Live. Let's check it out, shall we? It's been a hell long time since I first tried Kaden Live. I'd like to check it out because, okay, you might say that this is one of the worst video editors you can get, but all you need to do is just fix the color scheme. For example, here choose a better one, like maybe this one, and then, well, you're gonna need to install some KDE themes and stuff, and after that, it will be better. But leaving that, this was used to be one of the best video editors you can get on Linux if you want open source. And I'd like to see one thing. Like, do we have hardware acceleration or not? Actually, we do. We can enable it from here. Restart your life to apply it. But killing that. Now you might say this is one of the worst applications. I agree because the layout is just so bad, so cross, and very outdated. I prefer DaVinci Resolve. 
But man, Omachi looks just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And yeah, I installed it on my USB. You know, the thing I was showing you, the thing I was showing you earlier day. But leaving that, you have so much more as well. For example, let's just say setup, then power profiles. You can choose power profiles. For example, I want performance. Now my fan speed is more. Then we can update the system, omachi or configs. Like for example, I'd like to change the config of, let's say, hyperland. I can easily do that. Then let's say I want to install something like a package, editor, or gaming. For example, I want Steam. Just enter and it will do everything by itself. You see, just like that. I can easily install anything and one thing I like more about it is the terminal. Like you have big Omachi Titan and then the font, the color scheme, man, just perfect. In these terms, I love Omachi. And yeah, uh, my name is inside it. Well, looks like our Steam has an installed, so let's search. Oh, it's already launching by itself. There we go, Steam. And it's going to download an update, the typical Steam. And yeah, we have workspaces here as well. For example, you can just scroll or click like this. Or you have the, well, keyboard shortcuts. Windows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And yeah, let's go to audio settings. So we have payback, recording, output, input. Let's go to input. On the configuration. I don't know how to use it. Like, I don't. I'm going to have to learn the command line style. But I like it, to be honest. Then we have the top bar. We can toggle the top bar on and off, maybe. Yep, just like that. But yeah, I gotta bring it back. There you go. Then let's see what else do we have. Screen saver, night light, idle flock. Well, nothing. Then we can capture, screen recorder, screenshot, or colors. Learn. What do we have there? Oh, right. We have the whole, well, Omachi guide here. And the high plan as well. And Yash, Neo Vim, Bash. Good. I'm gonna learn from here. Then let's check out the different wallpapers. Uh huh. This actually sort of looks good, to be honest. Like, yeah, it does. But every time I have to do this, like come here, go to style, change the background. Oh man, this looks damn good. Just perfect for Omachi. Let's see what else do we have. Okay, this was the so, like, in this particular theme, which I have. We have a particular set of three wallpapers. Yep, let's stick with this. So let's say if I wanted to go with airfoils or maybe this one. Cat book chain, maybe. And now let's check out what are the wallpapers here. Background? Nope, nothing, nada. Hmm, typical. Well, let's check out something else. For example, Tokyo Night. This is definitely not Tokyo Night. Okay, this sort of looks like it. This is good. Like, yeah, everything looks Pretty okay-ish. But I prefer that world. Osaka cheat. Perfect. And yeah, that different style. The city wallpaper. Not the mountains. This one. This is just perfect. Maybe this should be on my thumbnail, shouldn't it? But leaving that, our steam is nearly completed. And yeah, that reminds me. We have different proton compatibility layers and a customized sort of kernel. Like, I, won't, I did not realize it before. And you won't be able to see it here if you go to you know new fetch or the above section like as you can see it is just lens kernel 6.16 the arch version but in reality it is sort of a customized version i've tested it till now but besides that i just love how this whole operating system has been designed this reminds me of something even amazing and that is waves os well it's still under development but yeah it's an awesome operating system a video about it might come to the channel later now I'm wondering, like, what shall I do? Okay, now I have to log in, but I'll not. Because this is not a game video, is it? And yet that reminds me, I'd like to show you something. In the settings, as you can see in the output, recording, I'm using NVIDIA NVENC H264. Now, I don't know if you know what this means, but let me just show you. Let's open Elaborate here, NVIDIA-SMI. That means we have the property drivers of NVIDIA pre-installed. Just awesome. And not just that, like B top. Here you can see my GPU, CPU, everything is just so calm and perfect. This proves one thing that this operating system is just amazingly optimized. Like, yes. And yeah, here you can see we have OBS running and the keyboard layout and stuff. But besides that, everything is just perfect. And you can also see how many watts it is using from my battery. It's not like I'm using 30 watts. Why don't I just go and plug in my charger? 
Now, as you can see, the voltage is increased to 45 watts. What if, just what if, I, I would, you know, try and play a game? Now, you might wonder, how, where shall I go and grab a game right now? Well, I'm going to play it on Chrome. And it's going to be Cranker.io, a very, very popular game. I'm going to crank up all the settings, like just go to advanced, render, I'm going to make it to 1.5, 1.5 which means 1.5 times resolution with anti-aliasing and really amazing shadows, high resolution and everything. Now let's see. Okay, my internet is not so good, definitely. But you can see like, let's just check it out. Now it is, all right, it's showing us the battery. But still, it is now using 45 watts. And let's say if we were to search for NVIDIA-SMI. Oh, well, not here. Definitely not here. Maybe there. NVIDIA SMI. And now you can see it is now using 6 watts. You might ask why. That's because this game is just so damn, you know, basic. Like, there's literally nothing to render. Just some blocks and things. But yeah, it looks good. It works good. Yep. And it's pretty fast. Like, you can play it on almost any device. It's like the pixelated version of CSGO. Yep, the pixelated version. And I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I killed him. That was good. Yep, that's the part of let you know on any game with bad internet. And yeah, by the way, let you know is my game name. Like, whatever game I'm playing, it's nearly gonna be let you know if the username is available. But man, this is just so smooth. I should actually enable the FPS meter, shouldn't I? It should be just here. Yep, 144 FPS. That's why it is just so smooth. And right now, I'm getting such an amazing performance at 144 FPS. And my GPU is at 6 watts. Like, can you believe it? And as you can see, all the things like my RAM, my CPU usage, CPU is at 3%. So you can see, like, this operating system is just so optimized that the games are running at highest possible settings with tremendous resolution, like 144p right now. Working so amazingly. You see, most of the window managers or hyperlandices are just desktops, nothing else. You don't get the full desktop experience as you get on KDE or GNOME. You don't get the full functionality, but here you do. Well, why are just bragging about it? Let's dive deep, shall we? And yeah, really, that's it. Like, I just installed the whole operating system and I'm going to try it in my day-to-day -day life. It is installed in my USB drive and still it goes working such amazingly like almost like i was using ssd but yeah and yeah if if you want to change the workspaces or shift applications to different workspaces you can just type windows shift one two you know you have the option like this this looks nice yep it is just working awesome and now it is working pretty better like this is how it should look but leaving that there is so much here you can do and especially the setup you see you don't see this on most places. Like, let's say you want to change your DPI and of your mouse and something. You can do it from the config, like, just like this. Let's say you want to sell some things. For example, you want to change the key bindings here. You want to change the configuration of Hyperland here. Add fingerprints if you have a fingerprint reader. Bluetooths, Wi-Fi's, everything is here. You see, I love this operating system. Like, in my whole experience of Hyperland and operating systems which give window managers out of the box omarchi is the best and yeah with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you like the video or not and what should i create next you can comment down below and i'll make the next video till then i'm signing out